Hey guys, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform the continuous manual speed up method. Now, this is a practice drill that will help you become really proficient with manually speeding it up. And then in the next lesson, I'm going to show you the continuous manual slowdown method, which will also help you get proficient in slowing it down. But first, we're doing the speed up method. Now, this is a practice drill. You wouldn't do this in a live setting, most likely. There is one instance where you might, and I'll explain that later. Uh, but for now, what I want you to do is get to the same track. And if you're using CDs, like traditional CDs, or if you're using a thumb drive, make sure you cover the screens if your CDJs have screens or cover where it might show the BPM readout if you're using a different type of CDJ because I don't want you to be able to see uh, the BPM getting closer, you know, so I don't want you to be able to cheat. Same goes if you're using a laptop with DJ software, especially if it's in front of you, cover it with a piece of paper so that you can't cheat. All, this is all happening in our ears only. Now, one of them is going to stay at the zero point. So we're gonna keep this side at the zero point on the tempo fader. On this side, we're gonna slow it down four BPMs. So I'm taking it this slider, and if you're using just traditional CDs or a thumb drive, you can look right here and it'll show you four BPM slower. I'm using Serato, so I'm gonna look over here. And these tracks are both playing at 128. They should be, yeah. So I'm gonna slow this down four BPMs to 124. So you wanna get it right, you know, close around there. 124, okay. Now notice, whoops. Notice also I have these looped uh, in Serato. So you can also loop them on your CDJs if you want. Uh, you don't have to loop it, uh, but it's helpful at least when you're first starting out to have just a consistent thing so you don't have to worry about it breaking down and then having to listen for other sounds and stuff like that. Once you get proficient with this drill, then you wanna take the loops off and go all the way through the track. But first, I got the loop set up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna play this track and I'm gonna drop this in and I'm going to perform the continuous manual speed up method, which is continually speeding it up by hand using the jog wheel and trying to keep it on. Now, if I let go, it's gonna drift slow again because this is playing at 124 and this is playing at 128. So they're never gonna sync up unless we jump the tempo fader back to 128. So in which case, in order to keep it on, we're gonna have to continually do it. And this will really help you with your touch and your technique. So I'm just gonna play this and then I'm gonna cue this up. And oh, also when you're doing this, you don't have to wait for the main one. You can do any one. Okay, so there was a one. So now you're seeing it's drifting, right? If I don't do anything, it's just gonna get completely off. So you need to actually touch it. Okay, so now I wanna catch it. And then you hear them lining up. Now, if I do it too much, all I gotta do is let it go and let it drift back. But don't let it drift it. See there it's on, but now it's going to drift past, right? So I'm going to have to speed it up again. And then you just want to get good. Once you have it on, you want to try to keep it on. So figure out the pace in which you would be rotating it and then try to keep it at a continuous steady pace to try to keep it on as long as possible. So you see, now if I let go, it's gonna drift. I could do this and then go back and do this, but then it's, you see it gets off, it's not gonna be consistent. So now it's gonna drift a little slower, and now I'm gonna catch up with it again. Now, if you find that you're having a really hard time with even just this, when you start, if you are using software like Serato DJ, 
You can start by looking at it first. So here's the software right here so we can see it. So now as I'm doing the continuous manual speed up method, I can try to keep these transients on right here. Because remember, if I let go, it's gonna go slower and slower is down on Serato DJ. So you can use your eyes a little bit until you get sort of the feel of it and you're like, okay, I got it, okay? Then put that away, don't look at it and do it with your ears. If it gets off, let it go. See if it gets better, it got better. So now I know it's drifting and then I'm gonna catch it. So that is the continuous manual speed up method. Practice that a ton and get really good at training your ears and your arms and your hands in being steady. Also do it on the other side with this hand. Uh, so don't just be doing this over here. Uh, you wanna get good with both hands and we've discussed that in the past. Uh, but once you've gone through that and you've gotten really good at that, go on to the next video.